Hey guys, welcome back to the Rooted in Jesus podcast. Today's episode is going to be on why it is important to go to the secret place. And you guys may be saying, what in the world is the secret place? So I guess I'll just explain it a little to you guys. The secret place is anywhere you are where you're by yourself with the Lord. So it is very awesome that we as sinful humans are able to go to the secret place. So that's just an awesome thing that we have access to the Holy Spirit wherever we are and we have access to his presence and we can talk to him wherever we are and worship him wherever we are and pray and all that good stuff. So I'm going to be talking about that But before I get into that, I guess I'm going to be talking a little bit about why we should go to the secret place and the importance of it. And we're going to be looking at Jesus's example. So I'm going to read a verse when Jesus was younger. So we're going to read that right now. So this is a little backstory on this story. This was when Jesus was young and his parents went to the temple, and they didn't realize that they left Jesus behind, so I am going to get into it, but it says, so when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said to him, son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously, and he said to them, why do you seek me? Did you not know I must be about my father's business? So, why did I read that to you guys? I read that to you guys because as important as it is to go to church, it is very important to be about our Father's business all the time. Not just on Sundays, not just a a Christian walk that is I'm going to church on Sundays and I'm going to church on Wednesdays and the rest of the week. I'm just not even going to think about God, not even going to talk about him, not going to pray, none of that. I'm a Christian, but I just go to church on Sundays and Wednesdays and the rest of the week. I don't even put any thought into my relationship with God. So I'm telling you this because we have to be about our father's business all the time not just on Sundays not just on Wednesdays all the time so yeah that was my first verse that I thought I would share with you guys because it is so important and guys I'm so glad just talking from experience and am I perfect at seeking the Lord in the secret place no I fall short. I'm a human being. And I just want you guys to know that I'm not perfect. I'm still working on myself. I'm still working on my relationship with him. So, yeah. But what I'm going to say right here, right now, is I am so very, 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 very grateful that I've had people in my life to model what a relationship with Christ looks like. And I've seen other people seek the Lord in the secret place. And thankfully, by their example, they have taught me how to seek God in the secret place. Because I know a lot of people will go about their life in their Christian walk. And they will go to church on Sundays and Wednesdays and just never seek God in the secret place by themselves. That's just my thought. We are called to be about our father's business all the time, not just on Sundays and Wednesdays, all the time. Talking about, I'm so glad that I had people show me what that looked like in my life. Um, I'm glad that I had that because I feel like my faith would have fallen apart in 2020 with all the craziness going on with my asthma you guys know I've sadly can't go in person anymore I miss in person but 
I just can't with my asthma. But I love church and I miss it. And online is not the same. But what I do have to say is I am so thankful that I've had people in my life to show me what seeking him in the secret place looked like. Because if I didn't, I feel like my faith would have fallen apart very easily during the year of 2021. So I'm very thankful that I had people in my life to kind of show me what that looked like. And I encourage you, if you're a person listening to this that doesn't really seek God in the secret place, I'm going to teach you some ways and some things that I do to seek him in the secret place. But I just encourage you to do it because it's very important. It strengthens your relationship so, so much with God. It makes your relationship and your walk so much stronger. And it's just amazing when you get with him in the secret place. It's just like nothing that I can explain. I can't really explain how cool and how amazing it is. So we're going to follow Jesus' example. And from young Jesus, we must be about our father's business. And I'm going to read you some more passages of scripture and some more verses about Jesus going to the secret place. So if Jesus goes to the secret place, I feel like we as unperfect human beings really need to go and find that secret place. So I'm going to find some verses that I have written down, and we're going to talk about those. So the verse that I'm going to be talking about is Matthew 6, verse 6, and it's talking about prayer in this. But it says, when you pray, go into your private room, shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So that's talking about prayer. You guys may know about like people having prayer closets in the movie the war room but it doesn't just have to go for prayer we think pray in secret but I personally feel like God has called us to have a relationship with him in secret which is prayer bible time All those things we're called to do in the secret place with just you and the Father and nobody around. Go to a desolate place. Maybe it's in your room. Maybe it's outside with nobody around. But we are called to go pray in secret, worship in secret, and also to read the word by ourselves. And yes, like I'm saying, all these things are great to do with people. It's awesome to study the word with others. It's awesome to worship in a room full of people. It's awesome to pray in a room full of people. But we as Christians are called to go to the secret place. And I think a lot of us miss that. I think a lot of us think as long as we go to church that we're good. And as long as we are praying and worshiping and fellowship and reading the word with other believers, that's all that matters. But guys, he wants a deeper relationship with you guys. He wants you to seek him and find him. So that's one verse. I have a few more verses that I'm going to read and then I'm just going to talk about my experience in how I seek the Lord in the secret place. Matthew 14 verse 13 says, when Jesus heard about it, he withdrew from there by boat to a remote place to be alone. When the crowds heard this, they followed him on foot from their towns. So the Lord Jesus decides to go places by himself to be alone and I think it's very important yes I like to talk to people and like being isolated and all the stuff that we're in right now is not fun 
but it is so so important to get along to be with the father so that's another verse and then there was another verse in that same chapter verse 23 in the same chapter says after dismissing the crowd he went up to the mountain by himself to pray guys jesus did this so many times and i don't even think i'm hitting the tip of the iceberg of how many times he did this luke 5 verse 16 says yet he often withdrew to a desolate place and prayed that is luke 5 16 Mark 1 verse 35 says, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he got up, went out, and made his way to a desolate place, and there he was praying. As we can see from those verses, it is so, so, so important. As many times as Jesus, it said, he went by himself and he prayed. We, as imperfect humans, need to be seeking him in the secret place. So I guess I'm going to just take you guys through what I've been doing lately to seek him in the secret place. And thankfully, I've had a few years of putting this into practice. Have I done it perfectly? Absolutely not, because I'm human and I'm imperfect. I'm always working on my relationship with him and I'm not perfect. So I don't want you guys to think that. I guess I'll walk you through what I've been doing in 2021, not perfectly, but some things that I really think are very important to seek the Lord in the secret place. Here's some ways that I like to do that. So first of all, what I've been trying to do every morning Not very successfully, not always, but I've been trying to do this thing that is called Word Before World, which, what does that mean? That means you pick up your Bible and you get into the Word of God before you take in social media or the things of the world. Have I been perfect at it this year? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I got to work a ways to get to where I want to be with doing that but that's just the awesome way to start your day with the word and to start your day in the secret place and just have that time to read and feast on the word and also to feast on the word before you fill yourself with actual food to feed your spirit That's one thing that I've been really enjoying doing is to get along in the secret place in the morning, just like that verse that we just read early in the morning. Not that early because I'm so bad at waking up early, but early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus got alone and prayed. So that's a beautiful thing and we need to do that. And As much as it's important to pray in the secret place, I think reading the Bible in the secret place with just you is amazing. Sometimes I like to just, I don't do this always, but sometimes in the morning if I get up early and I have a lot of time, I will put on some worship music and I will worship the Father in the secret place, nobody around I will get really emotional. I will think about what the words are actually saying and actually not just sing the words, but actually think about what I'm singing and worship him. So that's another thing that I love to do in the secret place with just me, nobody around. Some people find it weird and I I just never understood this because I've always been okay with doing this in the secret place but some people can only worship when other people are worshiping but I've always been able to just tap in and just let go and just let him work 
and use that time to glorify and worship him with nobody around and it's just so fun and so awesome and in those moments you could have really big breakthrough moments when you worship him like that and it's incredible so I encourage you to get along in the secret place turn on some worship music and think about what you're singing and think about what the words are saying and actually worship him and worship him in spirit and in truth so that's another thing that I like to do basically a lot of those verses are talking about Jesus going off to pray but prayer for me in the secret place looks very very different you know there's different ways to pray and there's different ways that I like to pray in the secret place one of those ways would be writing in my prayer journal or my prayer jar with my prayer journal Every single day, there's a different section and a different place for me to pray. So I'll pray for those topics. I will go through thanksgiving, praise, confession, all those different things that are in my coffee and Bible time prayer journal. And I'll get along in the secret place and go and pray that way. Another way I really enjoy praying in the secret place, and I really need to do it more often, I think we, all of us, I think all of us need to do it more often, is to get down on your knees and pray and humble yourself before the Lord. And I just think that's a really beautiful thing and a really beautiful way to get along in the secret place and pray that way. And the last way that I pray in the secret place would be my prayer jar. So I just write a prayer down in my prayer jar and I just keep adding to the prayer jar and keep them in there until the prayer gets answered. And I will just put my hand on the prayer jar and pray over each and every prayer in that prayer jar. So those are the three ways that I like to pray in the secret place. So, yeah. So lastly, I'm really learning the importance of memorizing scripture and I'm not that great at it. I'm taking it little by little, but I just got this scripture memory map thing that you can memorize scripture and it's been really helpful. I've only had it for a couple of days, but another way to get in the secret place is to memorize scripture in the secret place. And we need to hide God's word in our hearts. We need to be prepared in case anything ever happens. Because I tend to think about the state of our world. And I tend to think about like what would happen if they took my Bible away. How much would I have hidden in my heart? And how much would I have memorized in my head? So. I find that it is very important right now to memorize scripture in the secret place. So I encourage you guys to memorize some scripture. You don't have to memorize five verses in five days, you know, take it a few weeks at a time. I think I'm going to set a goal every three weeks, take three weeks to learn a verse. I may learn a verse in two weeks. I don't know. I'll just have to see. But memorizing scripture is very important because we need to be hiding his word in our heart daily. So guys, I encourage you to seek him in the secret place, worship him in the secret place, pray in the secret place, read your Bible in the secret place. And guys, if you guys go to church during this time in an actual building, That is awesome, but don't let that become your only relationship and your only line to God. And like I said before, when we started this podcast, that doesn't need to be your only thing that you do to connect with God. You need to be talking to him daily and seeking him daily and getting in the secret place daily. But I hope this encourages you guys and I hope it was helpful Seek God in the secret place. I'm going to do 
that as well and try to to grow deeper in my walk with him this year and I need to seek him more in the secret place oh and something that I forgot to tell you another way that I really like to seek him in the secret place before we end this podcast um I thought I'd add this in here is listening to sermons in the secret place so I'll just pick a sermon on a non-church day and just watch that and seek him and take notes and that's an awesome way to seek him in the secret place as well I hope these things that I've told you about have helped you seek him in the secret place I encourage you draw closer to him and he will draw closer to you and seek him each and every day but I love you guys and God loves you and I'll see you guys in the next podcast love you guys bye